GK Ball TV. Hello everyone and to all Lakers fans out there. This news could shock the entire Lakers fans watching this video. Lakers news. Darvin Ham doesn't want D'Angelo Russell to defer to LeBron James and Anthony Davis and why ex Russell Westbrook guard choose to play along with Kawhi Leonard and PG-13 Paul George. Let's watch this until the end here in JK Ball TV. The early returns on the trade that landed the Los Angeles Lakers D'Angelo Russell have been strong. In just one game with both Russell and LeBron James, the Lakers dismantled the New Orleans Pelicans 120-102 with Russell, James and Anthony Davis combining for 70 points on 25 of 43 from the field with all three being a plus 14 or better. Russell appears to be a seamless fit alongside James and Davis, even in the small sample size. And the hope is that things will only improve as Russell grows more comfortable within Darvin Ham's system. Ham spoke about what he hopes to see from Russell moving forward, saying that Russell's natural skill set is exactly what LA needs. Once he gets more familiar with our movement offense and different things we want to get done in the half court, just being regular old DLO, Ham said. A really good pick and roll player, a really good shooter, really not gonna have to force anything. Just play within the flow of everything we're doing and just be assertive. You run into that problem with LeBron and AD on the floor sometimes where guys tend to defer, defer, defer. But we want him to be aggressive and do what he does. Russell is shooting a career-high 39.0% from three this season and is still averaging 6.2 assists per game despite being the odd man out with the Minnesota Timberwolves to begin the season. Russell undoubtedly is a better fit in LA's scheme. It also shouldn't take long for Russell to get comfortable, as he's already familiar with the Lakers franchise and should have significantly more space to work with than he did with the Timberwolves. Having former teammates in Malik Beasley and Jard Vanderbilt should help as well. Russell is a great point guard for Ham's system with his ability to shoot the three, defer when necessary and score in a number of ways. James and Davis have not had a point guard with a fit as good as Russell's during their time together in LA. James optimistic heading into All-Star break. While the All-Star break is always welcomed in the NBA, James wants to use the time to focus in on the stretch run and what the Lakers can accomplish in that time. He spoke about his mindset regarding the team prior to the break. I want the guys to enjoy the break but don't get 100% detached because we want to come back and try to keep this thing going. I feel really good about what we have brewing, but it's going to take a lot of commitment from us going down the stretch so I'm looking forward to that. Ex-Lakers guard Russell Westbrook planned to sign to Los Angeles Clippers where he wants to return from his hometown Southern California. The Russell Westbrook era with the Utah Jazz ended before he played a single game, and his next chapter will be with the Los Angeles Clippers, his agent Jeff Schwartz told ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski on Monday. Utah will finalize a buyout, clearing the way for him to sign with the Clippers. Westbrook came to the Jazz as part of a three-way deal with the Los Angeles Lakers and Minnesota Timberwolves ahead of the Feb. 9 NBA trade deadline. D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley and Jard Vanderbilt went to the Lakers, while Mike Conley ended up on the Timberwolves, per ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski. Wojnarowski noted there was expected to be significant interest in Westbrook after Utah bought him out. Although Jazz general manager Justin Zanuck told reporters the team was open to him remaining in Utah. Westbrook is an intriguing case study for the Clippers ahead of the playoff push. On the one hand, he is a future Hall of Famer who was one of the best players of his generation in his prime. His resume includes the 2016-17 league MVP, two scoring titles, three assist titles, nine All-NBA selections, nine All-Star nods and a spot on the NBA's 75th anniversary team. On paper, any team would likely want someone like that. However, 
The 34-year-old has lost a step of the explosiveness that defined his game for so long, and he is anything but a dangerous shooter from the outside. He is hitting only 29.6% of his three-point attempts this season, and that came for a Lakers team featuring LeBron James and Anthony Davis, two stars who create space for others. Westbrook's time with the purple and gold can only be classified as a disappointment in part because of that shooting. He arrived ahead of the 2021-22 season to much fanfare as part of a big three with James and Davis, but he proved to be an awkward fit alongside those two. Westbrook has been at his best as a ball-dominant guard throughout his career, but James constantly has the ball in his hands. James also needs effective three-point shooters around him because of how much defensive attention he draws. Westbrook never fit that bill. While Westbrook found some success this season coming off the bench to anchor the second unit, the version of him that was so dominant during his time on the Oklahoma City Thunder was never a consistent presence on the Lakers. This buyout gives him a chance to join the Clippers ahead of a potential playoff push. He will look to rediscover his form as a game-changing playmaker. The Clippers signed John Wall as a high-profile backup point guard this offseason but they sent him to the Houston Rockets ahead of the trade deadline. Westbrook can now fill that role of a high-profile backup point guard, and he doesn't even have to change cities after his time on the Lakers. Although Westbrook is now set to become teammates with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, he'll still have to address some of the same concerns that arose during his Lakers tenure. However, he also ISN. That's all for today's video I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please subscribe, share and click the notification bell for more news and updates. Salamat Po.